Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji, and we're gonna play some Star Tropics. <clears throat> Captain um, Emoji took a shine to this game after he played it for a bit a couple of nights ago, so. Yeah, um. A friend of mine owned it, and, uh. I was awful at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. As you are. Yeah. With, with new games. Yeah. As anybody is. I just. I don't know, for whatever reason, I couldn't quite wrap my head around what I was supposed to do next in a few parts uh, as a kid. Well, they do have to cut down the uh, exposition, as it's a Nintendo game, and Nintendo games are notoriously short on space. It's true. But it was it, just, it was real confusing as a, a child. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island, where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. But, I mean, even though I wasn't any good at it, I really liked it. I mean, visually it was appealing. Uh, being from Florida, I, I liked the fact that it was an island setting with, you know, palm trees and... Uh, monsters <laughs> oh yeah no i mean there there are some things that were familiar we are in coral cola i Name. think all of the towns have cola in them they do because this was made for the american market by japanese people so it's got some hilarious uh assumptions running into it and i mean that fit with florida too because oh yeah we're just north of uh uh the Caribbean? Well, no, but uh, Puerto Rico. There's, there's a huge Coke bottling plant oh, just north of I us see. in the next state up. But uh, I can't remember if it's in Alabama or uh, Georgia. But So you talked to the pig, it said oink oink, and then it showed you its butt. It did. They even put a pixel there. I'm very Brilliant. proud of them. I just met, oh, my, well. I just met my dinner. It's going to be great. <laughs> That's the best kind of pig. So... I don't know who I need to talk to, but I remember that you have to talk to people. You that do. is, You have to talk to everybody. That is the key to this game, is talk to people. Oh, hey, Mike, you're an ace pitcher, because you're American. You like baseball. Uh, I mean, your weapon's a yo-yo. There's a baseball bat as a weapon, and not mm -hmm. like in a gang way, but like in a, you're a baseball player because you're American kind of way. Oh, yeah. Miss Coral <laughs> 1990. Yeah, you're pretty pretty for a pixel lady. A little short compared to the other pixel ladies. Must be younger. Petite. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Or, yeah, you know, could be younger. Models, you know. Yeah. Dr. Jones! Ah. And here's the chief. What's up, chief? I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coral Cola of... Coral Cola Village on Coral Cola Island. That's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. And a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news last oh, no. night. Not trying not to be upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. The one we just learned about? We must keep this from the islanders so they don't panic. You're the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. Can you help? Yes. Okay. So, it's my understanding the yo-yo started its life as a weapon before becoming a child's toy. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, I guess that fits. But I mean, imagine a rock that you could pull back and throw again. Yeah, <laughs> sure. There's lots of monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I I think they just don't want to have to deal with the, uh, you know, these outsiders on their island anymore. They're like, well, Doctor Jones is gone. You should go find him. No, the, no, no. Don't, he, don't, he's, don't past the, he's past the tunnel full of monsters. Here's oh. a yo-yo. Oh, check this out. Where do you come from? Americola? Uh... Ah, I feel like that was a joke. But it's hard to tell. Oh, I must can't have go in there. talking to someone. But that's where you go. I think you missed that guy in the blue in the corner there. Is he what triggers it, though? Uh, you, you trigger it by talking to everybody. Stared at the Southern Cross. There were shooting stars. Omens of disaster. Don't worry. I know the Northern Fist style. 
<laughs> oh, that's what did it. Okay. But yeah, like, I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit obtuse. No, no, I love that word way too much. Yeah. But it's... Could it's be other not, words. It's true. It's just not very obvious uh, how to trigger things in this game. Yeah. And 10-year-old me was, I guess, just not as patient? I don't know. Yoko was abducted because he found a secret in the Lost Ruins. I have great hope that you will succeed. Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike, many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But the magic of the Southern Cross is always by your side. Gonna get a transforming robot? Are we talking about protoculture? Is that what's going on? Is this a Robotech prequel? Uh, so it doesn't seem like it right now, but there are aliens, if I remember correctly. Yes, there are. So, you know, maybe? You know, I like the thought of this as being a Robotech prequel. Sure, why not? I mean, they had a Robotech game for the Nintendo. That they did. It was real hard. Yes, it was. <laughs> so, movement on this is a little weird. It's kind of like a, a grid, mm -hmm. which is why uh, which is why it, it kind of reminds me of uh, like Resident Evil tank controls. Oh, it's not yeah. how I would pilot a people, but it's how the game pilots people, and so it's just kind of how you do yeah, um, it's not it's not the sort of grid like Zelda. Yeah, but it's a darn fun game, and I do like the visuals. If you just see me hopping around like mad, it's because I know there's a button. I do not remember where the button is. <laughs> <laughs> but if you hop on enough of these, eh, you get it eventually. Yep, just hit all the buttons, you'll be doing all right. Pretty much. Um, I do appreciate that this game has tons of little nooks and crannies to explore if you're the type to seek those things out. Oh, yeah. Um, ah, it's a good time. And it is the kind of game where I feel like you want to find all the stuff in it. Because, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, good game. a pretty vibrant game. Uh, I love the soundtrack. It's got a good little beat. Now, can you jump into the water if you jump the wrong direction? Yes. Oof. Jumping the wrong way is lethal. <laughs> like a lot of things. Uh, which is why... I think that's why they made it a grid. Was to try and reduce the number of times that that happens. That's fair. Also, the jump pads are a different color and everything else. Jump pads are a different color. Uh, and... Uh, I mean, if you look at the old Nintendo controller, the the cross pad, mm. it looks like it wants you to make a grid-based game on it. That's true. If I was programming a game, I'd go, oh yeah, you you want this to be a a grid game. I don't think there's anything over there besides death. Oh right, this is just a room of bats. Yeah. Which, like every game, bats are in on the Nintendo. They're the worst. They're fast. They don't adhere to grid structure. Exactly. They can do what they want. Uh, those black areas are holes, and you can jump into them. And then die. And then die. <laughs> uh, the bats, of course, can fly over them and do not care. <laughs> That's another room full of bats. Is it? Ah. Uh, Why? Because I don't remember these things. I mean, yeah, I picked it back up to make sure that I remembered how to, like, use the yo-yo, because I was seriously worried that maybe my memories were that, you know, flawed. But, okay, that now means those there's are a just, secret. Those are just death rooms. Let's see, what do we got? The time test there strategy we of go. step on everything. There's a door. Anything else? I think we're set with that door. Well, I mean, some of them will put up uh, hearts or something. Hearts or item boxes. Oh yeah. Now why don't you just go grab the treasure chest? Because you have to hit the button. Oh. And that opens the treasure chest. That okay. Pops the treasure chest. 
And we now have 25 torches. Neat. Which are a, like, thrown item. Those would probably be handy. Yeah, I mean, you know it's a good weapon because they give you a limited number of them. That's whereas true. Whereas the yo-yo is your, your infinite ammo, you know, this'll do. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's it's got a variety of enemies that all act differently, like the snakes. Oh, yeah, they just move. charge. They charge when they see you. And, uh... I like their movement pattern. They just look neat. Oh, yeah. Uh, the little slug things are funny looking. I always have been amused by them. There's a monster leader in the game that looks like a Chocobo. Nah. Uh, they are kind of a pain to deal with, because... They take a lot of hits, and they're fast, and they just sort of seem to move around, like, however they want. Oh, yeah. Well, there's more torches. All right, up to 50 torches. Looking good for that boss fight. Heck, yeah. Well, what? What's that button going to do? Um, see, I thought there was another room. So, let's, yeah. Oh, it opens up another room. Hey, that looks that's, good. That's why I went back here. Like, I I swore there was another room, but... Eh, I mean, like I said, you know, decades old knowledge. Right. So, that is a health potion. And... A health potion I had unique. to look in the manual to figure out how to use, like, items that aren't... Weapons? Weapons. Those you just switch with select. Uh, I think you actually have to pause? Oh, yeah, down. pause and select. Pause and D-pad. Oof. You actually have to go down to a sub-menu that I didn't know was there. That's rough. Uh, but it'll put your hearts back up. That's I'm neat. not going to use it right now, because I have, like, most of my hearts. Oh, hey, another one. This is coming up you. Yeah. Got them strats. <laughs> uh. Alright. So this is a whole new... <laughs> oh. oh, now that's dirty. <laughs> so, explore, but not too far, kids. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about that one. Uh, <laughs> there are a few rooms like that, and you really only learn about them, well, by uh, failing to them once. That's uh, that one. That one was optional. That was my fault. There are ones later that, through no fault of your own, you will fall to them because. You're just going through the regular map as you understand it. Also, notice I lost my torches. You did. And your potions. And my potions. And you, lose, you lose everything. You're going to want to grab one of them potions. You're pretty beat up. <sighs> I'm actually curious if they're there anymore. Hmm. I just, I know Man, some... that would be a dick move. Well, I know that, like, for instance, that treasure chest will pop back up when I come back in this room. Right. But it'll be empty next time. Okay, oh, looks okay. like... Looks like you can go collect a couple of potions at That's least. relatively benevolent, then. I mean, all things considered, there's a continue system. So, I mean, it's not... It's not like that ends your run. Well, that's good. I mean, you only lost a life through a pit of death that you had no control of. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you go into that room and it's already a game over and you just can't... You have to watch yourself fall. <laughs> Punishing you for exploring after rewarding you twice. That's just... Yeah. No, that's the game. I mean, it's... Oh, yikes. You're gonna want to use one of them potions. Yeah. Let's see. Start. There we go. But yeah, if I went and got that treasure chest right now, Nothing it would be in empty. There. Okay. Oh, well, you got bats and snakes. Yep. Favorites. And you have to beat them to open that door, so... Yeah. I personally... Oh, that's a snake. I personally like to, uh fight the bats in the small area of this map before dealing with any of the snakes. That's fair. That's a snake that shoots fire. That snake ain't messing around. And you can only hit him in the mouth. Ugh. 
So, it's a lot of... It's a lot of this. I could probably nail him more than once, but I'm not really... No. I'm not feeling it. That's fair. I, That's uh, not a joke of a boss fight. A, I will admit to being a bit of a, a novice at this game, and, you know, a little out of practice, maybe. <laughs> So if you run out of torches, you have to actually get on that block right in front of him, oh, because uh, the yo-yo won't reach two blocks over. That's miserable. How many times you got to hit him with torches? I'm beginning to wonder that myself. How durable is this snake? Pretty darn. I mean, oh, he shot two fireballs, so I didn't actually dodge that. You're going to want to drink that last potion. I think you're right. <laughs> I was hoping I could save it, not look like a... A chump, but... Oh. Hey, you got him! Oh, good. <laughs> Hooray! And there's the snake skeleton. Proof of my deed. And then you have to go hit a button for <laughs> reasons. It's just how this cave works. I want to know who put in all these buttons. And stairs no and... Not the monsters, clearly. Hey, we did it! That's... Even the game is surprised that we did it. I mean, I think that's telling. Also, notice the rest of my torches are gone. Yep. You don't get to keep things from dungeon to dungeon. Here. For the most part. Neat. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's got your, your classic overworld map, like a lot of games from this era. True, yeah. But then it's... I don't know... It's a little prettier when you're mixing it up. He has a submarine? Yeah, the ID code to start the engine is 1492. Okay, so it's an island of, of very friendly native people, and the code of the submarine is, is uh, 1492, which is Christopher Columbus sailing. Yeah. I'm sure they didn't mean it that way. We whitewashed a lot of history. <laughs> we did. But I'm like, but this game was made mm. not in the U.S. That's true. So I'm thinking, well, it's just the kind of cursory textbook knowledge that you could get. Yep. Wow. The submarine comes with its own robot. Well, I mean, you're just a kid. You don't know how to pilot a sub. They had to have an explanation <laughs> for that. Realism. I, I, right. That's what we're doing now. But he's called Navcom. He's also there to smack my hand out of the way if I don't have the code, I guess. But you have to get the code. Well, yeah. But oh, anybody else? else. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. All right. So there. I always thought the submersible looked kind of like a plane, personally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or an F Zero car. Or an F Zero car. I specifically thought it looked like the plane from uh, Captain Planet. Oh, yeah. Because it has that round, that roundness and the bubble cockpit and the little things on the side I always kind of assumed were wings. And now we're out on the open ocean. We're going to run into a dolphin. Yep. <laughs> and I don't know why they say Quee Quee. Quee Quee. Quee Quee? Like the... Ah. Like the first shipman, the first I'm just there? thinking it's a Japanese onomatopoeia. Maybe. On the other hand, it's Nav a lady Kong can... And we can translate for it. Oh wow! This is very Sea Quest. I loved this as a kid. I was like, oh man, magic dolphins like Sea Quest. Yeah. Science. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the second season of Sea Quest. That was a thing that happened. I was gonna say that first season was real good with the hey, this is how like you know, oceanography works and Yeah, and then it got real weird. Psychic dolphins and later seasons I think they added like mutants and stuff. And then I, it I, got real weird. I think they went to another planet. I don't Oh oh yeah, yeah, there was a later season where the ship... So, there was Sequest, and there was Sequest DCV. Mm. I think, which was like... That was when they got the new captain and stuff. And the ship had disappeared for several years. Lighthouse captain. 
They really wanted to be Star Trek. They really did. And I mean, the first season wanted to be Star Trek 2, but it took a more scientific approach of like, hey, uh, we know more about the stars than we do, like, the ocean. What if we could explore the ocean like we do the stars? They gave you a cool submarine. Sure. But then it got real weird. We know more about the stars than we do the ocean, therefore magic. Yeah, it's that last bit. That's, it's, it's that last <laughs> leap that I just don't quite get. So we're going to go hang out with the lighthouse's wife. Huh. He told me to go say hi. So does he need a submarine to get to work? Is that what I saw there? Or, or he's a real good swimmer. I guess. Or he climbs over that mountain. Maybe he has cut. There are oh, a couple of trees in the yeah. way. yeah. He just has a Pokemon that knows cut. Nope, I haven't seen a dolphin. I saw a bottle. I wonder if that's like a joke, like bottlenose dolphin? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> or if she's just telling me things You're going she the, saw. going the wrong way for the... Am I? Yeah. Remember, the, the mountain's not as solid as you think it is. It's, it's on the mountain. beach. Is it the beach mountains? Oh. Yeah. I was like, because I don't have to walk through a mountain, but I... No, I remember this, I remember this from last time. <laughs> Boy, it took us so long. So that... That guidebook they came out with the, uh... With the Nintendo Classic. Not as helpful as you'd think. It's up on the shelf, let's put it that way. So, captured by evil aliens. Alright. Aliens, yep. And we got a new ID code. Neat. 1776. Very American number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I feel like someone had, like, an American history textbook in their dorm or something. I don't know. But, yeah, no, if he had cut, he could get through here. Oh, I see. Or, you know, Rock Smash. Hmm. New ID code. It's now a real submersible instead of just a boat. <laughs> Neat. We got full privileges restored. That's B button. It's like, I know that there's a way to dive. Don't toy with me, game. <laughs> now we should go get that heart, definitely. How do you suppose we get to that guy? Um, it was another mountain puzzle. Oh, right. There we go. We got a big heart. Yeah. Well, sure we do. We're helping out the dolphins. That's of true. We have a big heart. I mean, they're not really going to pay us, so... Well, I mean, they might give us a fish. That's true. Wait, cave. Yes. I know where I'm going, I swear. <laughs> There's not even a mini-map. Look at me go! Look at you go. Ah! Oh, God. That's terrifying. He's the Muddy Mud Skipper. Apparently. We got 30 baseball bat. I'm guessing that they're just big sticks and that I use them like baseball bats because they break real good. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That just doesn't seem like a very good baseball bat if it breaks oh, no, every it's... time I swing it. Or maybe it's one baseball bat you can swing 30 times. Maybe. I guess I always imagined a golf bag of them that I was carrying around. I don't <laughs> know why. That is definitely funnier. Well, I mean... I had, like, 30 torches. Ah. Careful. Tell them to be careful. They don't need to be careful. They're <laughs> fine. I don't have back spines. They should be careful. Well, maybe you should get some back spines. Ah, oh, if that was an upgrade of this game, you better <laughs> believe I'd have back spines. Do that good damage. Hmm. Oh, no. Run. <laughs> yeah, that looks bad. They remind me of the uh, things from uh, Legend of Zelda, in that it's really just better to get away from them than to try and fight them. Oh, those guys, yeah. Well, those guys can hop on and off the platform. They can. They're quite jumpy. I don't like them. No, that's bad. Okay. Well, you unlocked but. something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
I was like, well, I'm going to take some damage. That's just what's going to happen, but... Not dodged it. I got very lucky. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's some hearts in there if you can get them. Uh, I think where the snake is is a hole. Oh, yeah, I see it. You can see the shadow. It's, it's like the, the mountain puzzle. It's like it was preparing us. There you go. Now we're not doing Jump so bad buttons. in the health. Oh, yeah, that opened up a thing. Somewhere something happened. <laughs> okay. We're doing good. Yeah. I know that, our way through this I dungeon. know that it's like pride cometh before a fall here, but... Now you have to fight them. I have oh, to fight them, too. The bat has a wind-up time. It does. But I don't want to have to hit these things more than once. That's fair. And with the uh, other thing, you have to hit them more than once. It's not a fun time. Yeah, no, that looked rough. Oh, that's a boss fight, isn't it? Uh, mid-boss? He's not, like, the real boss. Oh. Do you have to fight him? No, you just have to get away. But I thought that I needed a button to get into the next room. It might be a kill all enemies room. Oh, <laughs> uh, that would mean... Yeah, kill all enemies room. Okay. That means I was juking and bobbing for no reason, like a dumb. Well, maybe you'll find a potion. Well, it gave me some hearts. I'm not too bad off. He said before walking in the room full of bats. <laughs> no, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. Ah. Okay. Okay. Last yeah, one. We're doing all right. See? See, room full of bats, not a problem. And there's a secret... Entrance to the... Uh, get in there. <laughs> uh, that is a stressful room. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's another item. Ah. Uh, magic item. Probably stops people. I mean... It's a snowman. It's a snowman. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I would do with it. I think, oh yeah, the puffer fish is still around, by the way. Ah, oh, jerk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's that dolphin. So I'm assuming I must have a communicator that translates it for me, because I know it's saying help. Right. And not the ship. And you're not with the robot. That's just what makes sense to me, but... Oh no. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> And I can't do anything about it, because I have a baseball bat and the yo-yo. I don't have a ranged attack. No, this is this is definitely not... This is definitely suboptimal. Oh, there you go. Baseball bat. Oh, I didn't mean to jump on him, but I did. Remember how I was like, yeah, you can totally mess yourself up by jumping on things you don't want to jump on. Yeah, that was a thing. I didn't even know I could jump on him, but there's water there, so of course I can jump there. It's part of the grid map. Yeah, man, you're not. I don't know why I have though. to. Don't, I don't know why I don't have to kill that guy, but I'll take it. What's up in the upper room there? You know, I don't know. Maybe there's a potion. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk it to get there, but. Uh, what do you got to lose? I suppose that's true. Oh, I literally can't go back. Ah. Uh... It's fine. I'm, I'm sure that everything is fine. Definitely 100% sure that's not a health potion hanging out there. Where? In that room up there. Oh. Yeah. Go help that dolphin. I just dolphin. have to jump better. <laughs> True. That would solve all of your problems. No, you don't have any baseball bats. Okay. Button press.
Get him. Get Smash him. that button. Oh. oh, I used up all of my items and he's still alive. That's inconvenient. This may... This may be it. Oh! Ah, oh! Ah. Oh! I got you! Got him! <laughs> I got you! Look at that face of surprise! Take that, octopus! Hey, alright! That freed the dolphin from the iron cage somehow. That is some Echo the Dolphin stuff right there. We just saved that dolphin from a giant octopus. Yeah. And there's magic and aliens. No, this is totally like an Echo the Dolphin game. Oh, yeah. Wow, you done it. I did do it. No thanks to you, game. <laughs> uh... All right. Gently. Don't want to don't want to hit the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants tuna? Oh. <laughs> Thing is, we're saving him. Oh, oh, we still gotta call his mom. Ha. <laughs> uh. Oh. They're gonna show us the way. Sweet. Thankfully, we have our dive function, so we can actually follow them on this inc increasingly uh, disastrous path. Good luck. Thank you. They did get us out to the open ocean again. Like, that's true. That's kind of cool. Oh, no. <laughs> it's dark and stormy on the ocean. The sub tosses. Why don't you just dive? You did dive. We did dive. So, next time on Endless Mode. Next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna try and fix our ship with things you find on an island, I guess? Yep. Because that's for an advanced submersible with an AI. We're definitely gonna fix that with trees and sticks. Sap. Lots sap. of sap. There you go. Big, big banana leaves. No, we got this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell us what your favorite Nintendo game is. Let us know what you think of this one. Uh, we might pick it back up and do some more. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.